Welcome back to Miniature Mashup. My name is your host, the Miniature Mash Man. Seems like a lot of people are getting into this game called Gaslands. People out there are modifying their cars, and mesh nets for the windows. Then when it's time for the weapons, they're using things like toothpicks and straws. That don't seem right to me. I ain't trying to craft shame anybody. Not every project on this channel is a home run, but I think the very best weapons for Gaslands come from Warhammer 40k bits. But I understand, if you don't know enough about Warhammer 40k, maybe you don't know the right bits to get. And maybe you don't want to drop that kind of money since even Warhammer 40k bits can run quite high. This here is a little Happy Meal toy that I converted into a Gaslands racer. See right here at the front, we got a nice little Games Workshop gun. That's what we're going to try to make today out of some household items. We got us a little juice box straw. Got me a public library card. That's going to be our card stock. I got a little barbecue skewer here. We got a pair of heavy wire cutters. Some E6000. little bit of hot glue out of our tiny hot glue gun. First thing you want to want to do is start cutting up that juice box straw. Now I'm using a previous grenade launcher I made just to act as a measuring tool but you gotta eyeball the ratio you want of length to width on that juice box straw. Try to cut that up so it looks a little bit like a gun. Might want to fiddle with this a little bit. Get yourself a couple of these straws in case you mess up the first couple cuttings. Now, what we're trying to do here is decide what our front and our back of the gun is going to be. Because we're not going to be able to cut this completely even and neat. But that's alright. As long as the front of the gun is as even and neat as possible. We're going to mount the gun in such a way that we can't see the back. And so all those little imperfections that come out in the straw when you're cutting it, they're going to be hidden. Now we're just trying to cut six lengths of straw, about as even and neat as we can get. And that's going to be the barrels of our grenade launcher. Once we get to six, we're going to start gluing them together. We'll start putting them together with just a little bit of E6000. I'm spreading it out here with a toothpick. Now because they circles, when you put them together, as long as they're on a flat even surface, they're going to be centered. The circles don't have any real points, you see, and it's all, it's all points of connection with a circle. And we're just going to clear away any excess E6000 with our toothpick. And we're going to make that same structure of the two pieces of straw. We're gonna do that three times, and we're gonna let that dry. And we'll have our six barrels. Now once they're dry, we're gonna take our barbecue skewer, and we're gonna cut it just a little bit longer than the straws. That's gonna be the center of our barrels, like in a revolver. You've got that central pin that the revolving barrels hang on. That's gonna be what our barbecue skewer is doing. We're gonna trim that up so it's nice and round at the ends. And we're gonna start gluing them barrels, at least to start. We're gonna glue those barrels onto that barbecue skewer. Making sure that's in the center and just poking out a little bit. Once we've decided where our front is, we want the nicest, roundest part of that barbecue skewer going to the front of our little grenade launcher. Should have two other pairs of barrels. We're just gonna keep adding them nice and neat. It's all said and done. Should get what looks like a nice little revolver bullet chamber round thing next step is we're going to start cutting up some plastic card i got me an old library card from wake county i don't live there anymore so i ain't going to be taking any books out from the wake county library anytime soon we're just going to cut two little rectangles and then we're just going to cut two smaller rectangles out of them rectangles make us a little l shape it's got to be just big enough to go over the edge of our barrels. It's gotta be just a little bigger than the barrels. And once we figured out that they fit okay, we're gonna trim that upper corner off, 
give us the look of our Games Workshop gun. We're just trying to recreate that. Now I got two pieces of plastic card. I got these two little plastic L's. Gonna put them together so we can get the right thickness. Cause you could probably pull this off with one plastic card, but I don't think it's gonna look right. Now I'm using a little E6000 on my scrape away any excess E6000. Of course the next step is to take our little gun structure and we're gonna glue it down onto the rest. So it's starting to take shape. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get that as centered as possible. One of the things I like about E6000 is it dries real slow, it's real kind of gummy. And you got plenty of time to play with things you're gluing together, especially if they're real light like this. You can get your fingers in there, you can really change it up, really adjust it as it dries. Now our final gun barrel, this is where the grenade gonna come out. We're gonna cut that in little nubbins, little short piece, and then we're gonna snip a little room for our plastic card to slide right in there. If you do it right, it'll just sit there on its own. So it makes it a little easier to glue it in, but we're gonna fill that up with a little bit of E6000, and we're gonna slide that right onto the plastic card. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Try to get this as straight as possible. You can see me, mine looks a little bit, a little bit sloppy, a little bit sloppier than I like. I, I think if you got a steadier hand, maybe you're a little bit more of a young person, maybe you got better tools, sharper tools, you'd be able to make something that's a little more precise. Now we're gonna go over our grenade launcher with a couple of lines of hot glue. Again, we're just trying to recreate the look of that games workshop. Um, I'm not even sure it is a grenade launcher, but it's some kind of a Gatling gun. Something with a rotating barrel. We're just going to go around, try to keep these lines as straight as possible. And one of the things we can do with the hot glue is if it does get a little too bumpy or have a little too many strings, a little too lumps on it, just go in there with a tiny wire cutter, trim that down, try to minimize the imperfections. And now... When you look at our gun, you can see that the, the walls, sort of the structure of it is a little too thin because it's just a plastic straw. So one of the ways we're gonna cover that up is we're gonna go over the ends of the straws with a little bit of hot glue and give it a little thickness. Make it look like it could possibly be a weapon. Obviously, this works better for something for like orcs or 40K or gas lands where everything is kind of run down and busted up this gun has clearly had some damage to it it's not pristine but that's okay we're gonna we're gonna paint it up all rusty now you're gonna need to mount this weapon lots of ways you can do that me i'm using an old constructs toy but you could certainly build a box like this out of plastic card now we're gonna slide that in there i'm holding that into that constructs block with a little bit of E6000 but we're gonna want to cover up some of these gaps because it clearly isn't held in there very well so we're just gonna conceal that by chopping up some plastic card and covering up some of these holes here make it look more like a solid piece of machinery we're gonna do the same thing in the back with just one square piece of plastic card now to mount this to our little truck I'm just using some long pieces of plastic that look a little bit like iron beams. Just chopping those up, even gluing that down with E6000. We're gonna make the car look post-apocalyptical. Then we're gonna take it outside, hit it with some black primer. Overall, I think it turned out pretty good, considering there is absolutely no Games Workshop or any kind of professional model kit pieces on here. This is all junk plastic, all straws. Little pieces, a couple pieces of cheap toys. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. I hope it's something you can make use of in your own Gaslands games. If you like my channel, please hit the like button and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you'd like to support the channel, consider donating to my GoFundMe. We on Facebook. Come visit us there. We're on Discord. If you want to pop in and say hi, I'm always around. Alright guys, I got another Gaslands video coming up for you shortly.
Till then, keep crafting.